Hello everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Sean and I'm making this video today of my MGF as for the advertising uh, on eBay. So this is my MGF. It's a 1999 on a T. It's MOT'd until the last week in August 2022. And for its MOT it had uh, two new, two brand new rear brake calipers and pads and for its previous test in 2021 it had uh, wheel bearings all round, it had the bottom ball joints on the suspension, there's also two uh, upper ball joints in boxes that are brand new that are going with it and um, it had um, <coughs> Ambrate cable on this side, brand new cable. These tyres were brand new a couple of years ago. Um, they probably only done a couple of thousand miles. And also I put a brand new battery on it in 2020. So it's a 1999 MGF 1.8 VVC Roadster convertible. It's done 110,000 miles. Um, there's one or two little bits and pieces on the bodywork. On this passenger wing, it has a bit of rust on it, which I'll show you. Then you know. Where is it down here? It's just beginning to bubble a little bit there. There's the odd scratch on it, and one thing and another. Back of this mirror, the lacquer's peeled. The rear tyres are in good order. I might as well show you the front ones while I'm at it. All the brakes are good and the clutch is good. The engine runs sweet. Oh, it has another rust patch around here. I'll show you this. There's a bit of rust, surface rust bubble in here. But the sills are in reasonably good order, as are the bottom of the doors. Inner sills are good. The door jams. I'll show you the other side. But this door's good. And the jams. Just giving you an idea of the condition. Take a look inside. I'll put this roof down after. There's a cover for it. Uh, it's got leather seats. This bolster on this seat um, is showing its age. Like I say, it's done 110,000 miles. I'll show you on the clock. to do this I think 110,178 these are the latches up here and at this side to release the roof dinky little sun visors Pretty clean inside. Um, it has under the mirror. You're picking it up. It has the uh, interior lights there. One in this footwell. There. One at this side. 
for electrical power steering. So you've got um, on the left of the stalk you've got the, the lights, controls, and on the right you've got the window wipers, etc. Horns in on here, clock, temperature gauge, it holds a good temperature. Sorry, this is the oil temperature gauge. This is the uh, coolant gauge, rev counter, fuel gauge on that side, uh, radio CD player, controls for the heater. Now that's a switch for a heated rear window and it does have the wiring in, so if you put a hard top on it, it's already wired in. La uh, control for the electric windows, rear fog light, electric windows passenger side and they both work. Five speed box. This gate is uh, loose. Got a glove box on the rear. In there. Also in here there's a little shelf uh, under control and I don't know what that's for, maybe putting your phone on or something like that. Open. Cigarette lighter ashtray with the locking wheel nut inside it, little cubby box here, putting stuff in, you've got one at the back here that lifts down, you've got a little bit of storage space in there and somewhere to put some cups or drinks, speakers in the back and in the doors, The ignition key with the fob on it for, for locking and opening and sometimes when you put the ignition on um, it'll beep at you. Let's have to put you down there a second. So if it makes that noise that means it's just an alarm check and what you do you press any of the controls on the fob and the key um, the plastic broke, so I've put some tape around it to hold it in place. So in the boot, plenty of space in the boot. Quite a large boot, surprisingly. This is the cover for the uh, soft top. Now this is the 1.8 VVC engine, and I know people are going to ask. Um, has it had a head gasket? Well, not while I've, not while I've had it, um, but the car is 22 years old and I should imagine at some point it will have had a head gasket set. I don't know when, um, for the new tougher, tougher one. Under this cover is the header tank for the coolant. Now, it's all good in here. There's no mayonnaise on the cap or in the water. And then next to it you've got the dipstick and the filler for um, oil. So we'll take a look in there. So I'll screw this cap off. There's no mayo in there, it's all good, which says that the head gasket is good and there's no mayo down in there. I'm going to show you this because people will ask about the head gasket. Uh, the dipstick comes out like this. And that's all clean. No mayo or anything on the dipstick or in the oil. about here with one hand. That's back on. And also in the boot you have the catch for the front bonnet. You pull that catch and the bonnet will come up. Take a look under there.
So under here, you've got the spare wheel, uh, bag with the jack in it, spare wheel's blown up. That's the new battery I was telling you about. You've got the brake fluid on this side, washer fluid there, clutch fluid, and behind this black panel, with this being the Hydra gas suspension, this black panel comes off and you've got two valves that you can screw the pumping up machine on to raise the suspension if you need to, although it's at a good level. And here it is with the hood down and uh, the cover on. And the cover just fits over the top. Press it down there with a the press stud there to hold that in place. And then one in the door jam here, just to keep the cover in place. There's one at this side and one at the other side. So, uh, <clears throat> well, in 2016, two owners back, this car was in an accident. So it's had a replacement wing on it and a bumper. Um, just making you aware of this because it is recorded uh, in the logbook. But they've done a good job of it. Uh, like I say, it runs well, it drives well. I'm very impressed. So that's my MGF. Thank you for watching the video. And I look forward to. Oh, sorry, before I go, um, there's the spoiler. There's a spoiler here. And this fits on the boot. On the boot here, there's these four nuts and bolts. Two there and two there. You take them out, and then these these bolts on here fasten in from the underside of the boot lid. And I'll just rest that on there, then it give you an idea what it looks like. So that's the rear spoiler as well, and that's coming with the car. So it's going on eBay on auction, but also with a buy it now price of 995. Um, and there is a reserve on it, and I'm, I'll tell you, I'll might as well let you know, and then you don't, you're not wasting your time. The reserve is set at 750. So thank you for watching the video, and bye for now. And I look forward to meeting the new owner.